What's up guys welcome back to 7th part of Android notification tutorial. In the last few video we saw Android notification in the regular activity now. From the 7th part onwards we will check out the Android notifications in case of special activity. Fine so let me just recall you what was the difference between the regular activity and the special activity. In the regular activity that we saw in the previous few tutorials, when we click on this notification, it migrates to the activity B. Now, when we press the back button, then activity A, which is the parent back stack activity, gets opened. And after that, if you press the back button again, then we enter into the home screen. Now, in case of special activity, when the notification is generated, on the click of this notification, it generates activity B. Now, when we press the back button right here, it automatically enter into the home screen. So, this was the basic difference between the regular activity and the special activity notifications. Now, what is the reason behind the difference between the special activity and the regular activity? Now, the reason guys, I just explained you in the very first Android notification tutorial. Please go back and check out what this special activity stands for and how the actions are being performed. Why we are not getting the activity A, which is the parent backstack activity. Why we are getting this home screen, right? So. Now guys, these were the 4-5 steps that we followed in case of regular activity. Now, let me show you what is the actually basic stepwise different in case of special activity and the regular activity. Now, in case of regular activity, the first step was to set the style. Now, in case of special activity also, we have to follow the same step. So the step 1 should be always same in case of both the cases, right? Now the step 2 is also same, set the basic content of the notification, fine. Now the third step, set the intent of notification and action buttons. Now the codes for the third step in case of special activity and the regular activity is quite different. So. The third step is not at all common to both the cases, right? Now the fourth step pass the notification through notification manager notify method. Now the fourth step is also same. So in both the cases, the fourth step is also same. Now the last step is to make the required changes in the manifest file. Now in case of the last step, there is a huge difference between the manifest codes of special activity and regular activity. So this is also not same. So guys we will check out each and every steps of building the notification in detail in case of special activity. You will be easily able to compare what are the difference in the codes of special activity and regular activity. Now, now let me show you the basic setup of project in the Eclipse. Now guys inside the Eclipse. In the last 6 videos we saw notifications underscore regular project. Right? So inside this project we were coding the codes of regular activity. Now here I have created a new project notification underscore special activity. Right? Now here inside it I am having activity A, B, help.java and settings.java. Now guys if you remember in case of regular notification also I was having the same activities. Right? So in order to avoid any confusion I have taken the name of the activities same. Fine so that you can differentiate what are the difference of codes between these two projects. Now here also inside the layout I am having the 4 XML files. It is all similar to, our, to what we had in our previous project. Fine. So this activity a.xml. This is the layout of activity a.xml. These are the four buttons, show normal view, show big text notification, show big picture notification and show inbox style notification. And the codes are as follows on the click of this on click of each of the buttons show notification method which is present inside the activity a.java. This is the method this will be executed. So here I am differentiating each button with the help of switch case statement. So till now guys nothing new I will start my coding in the next video because I don't want the things to be messed up in this video itself.
I will clear each and every concept of notifications in Android. So stay tuned guys, catch you guys in the next video. This is Shrex from SmartHerd signing off and please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching. Have a good day.